I've been in the real estate game for 30 years. This is just video introduction because I, I have cerebral palsy. I am not drunk or on drugs. I know all about real estate, so I wanted to put this out there. Okay, guys, I th think I'm ready. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, uh, what, I, what uh, this video is for guys who uh, you know, want to know what kind of houses to go for. What? Well, what kind of houses I go for? Um, I, I I usually go for the uh, mid range, high end, uh, up to a uh, million dollars to three million dollars uh, houses, uh, two million dollar houses. The only reason why I say that is because then my back end. A three percent of a million dollars is thirty thousand dollars. So you can actually um, your base pay it goes down lower uh, than other other houses. Now I'm going to show you a couple things I do. Um, some you know. Uh, the pros or now I'm not talking about homes like this uh, these guys I'm not talking about homes like this okay I'm not talking about homes like this I'm talking about homes like this uh, uh, two million dollar homes uh, on a golf course at, or a piece of land on on the water. Waterfront always moves. I always I always try to get you know when I go for these homes, I usually you know want waterfront or I want land. Land is valuable. Okay, the house is not um, what you're looking at. You look at the land, okay. You look. You're looking at the land. You're not looking at the house. So, my examples would be broken windows, high, high, uh, high grass here, paint job. Okay, mid range houses would be like these houses, half a million dollars. Three hundred, uh, three hundred fifty thousand dollar homes, two hundred, two hundred fifty thousand homes. Now these homes, you know, you are, are hard to reach because of your, say, say this is three hundred thousand dollar home. So you got to bid for one hundred fifty. Okay, with tall, tall grass. Broken windows, but good land. Okay, so say you get a uh, uh, so say you get this thing on contract. Okay, and you put in a contract for one hundred twenty, a hundred twenty thousand dollars wholesale, and say say the uh, the uh, your uh, your back end buyer will. Uh, get three hundred or two fifty. Well, a hundred thousand dollars you gotta play with. It. So you your your um your base pay for a hundred thousand dollars at three percent or ten percent is ten thousand dollars. And so these guys right here, the million dollar homes. Okay, million dollars at three percent. Ten percent is a is thirty to a hundred thousand dollars. That's how these uh, these uh, you know most of these uh, uh, wholesalers get their money from. It's the it's the middle range. The guys who can um, you know yeah, people who can afford a hundred thousand. Uh, uh, 
one million to two million dollar homes. So, so you get this thing for seven hundred thousand dollars, seven fifty, eight hundred. Okay. So, say it's worth one point, one point five million dollars. Okay. Just say numbers. Uh, you know, I know this thing's not worth a hundred point uh, five million and a half dollars. Uh, you know. So say you get it on under contract for eight hundred fifty thousand dollars, half a million, uh, and you buy um, you. Say you get it for half a million dollars. So your buyer buys it from you yeah, for $550,000. So you, you pocket the 50, okay, and, uh, then he, he, he redoes it for a couple hundred thousand dollars. You know, um, new bathroom, same amount, a hundred thousand dollars he, and he put something on the market for a, a million one. So that's how wholesaling does, you know. But now the thing I'm doing with is if you, if you wholesale these, these, uh, wholesale these mid-range million dollar homes, yeah, about a million, you know, three million dollars, okay in bad shape and you, you probably can get get in at uh, half a million dollars to whatever the you know but the thing is you got, you got lead away so if you got to lower your price on the front end on your uh, you know um, on your uh, you know flip them you know, the bio, you bio on the back, you know, back end, okay? You can negotiate the price. I mean, you, you know, usually 20000 or usually 50000 It's all a numbers game anyway. So the thing is, you, you know, first of all, you know, you know what, what, most of your buyers, your buyers list, uh, know what they, uh, uh you, that you're looking for. Okay, these mid-range guys, okay, uh, they're good sometimes, but if they, if they, you know, if this will only give you uh five thousand dollars, maybe ten thousand dollars on. When you close on the deal, so you know you know what I mean by stacking. So you stack your money and you 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 get the buy you get your buyers list. Okay, you get you have the buyers list. You get the name. You know most of them are LLCs. That it's easy to, and so some people think. That you get 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 them off of uh, Facebook. I you know if that's fine, but most of Facebook is bullshit. You know these uh, uh, Facebook group things, you know, wholesalers. I, I I joined them, and most of them are you know shit. You know uh, you know so. You know, th people are bullshit. But if you call an LLC and you know what he's looking for, okay, um, and you reverse engineer these things, you, you can pick up these guys. V really easy. Very easy on the, very easy on the, 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 Wholesaling because because most of them are or you know people who uh, make you know good money and but you you're not going for you know the guy who makes makes thirty million dollars a year 
you make you you're going for the guy who makes two you know a hundred a hundred fifty two hundred thousand two hundred fifty thousand three hundred like a doctor so you, there's a you know but the con is you know um the con for this okay is uh you know uh well you're wholesaling so you're getting your money anyway what uh the guy who's back ending uh you know he might have to you know he might have to uh you know, uh, uh, sit on this for a half a year or a year and uh, uh, gradually uh, lessen the price. But listen, if you really want to wholesale, you get, you know, you go for the half million, you get go for the million, the two million dollar homes. This way you got that uh, cushion, price cushion. You know, what, 3%, 5%, 10% on your back end. I mean, 30, that's, that's, uh, $30,000. Okay. On a million dollar deal that you, you just put, put in, you know, for, say, the place that is two, two, uh, two million dollars and you, you, your guy offers him a million dollars. And, or, you know, some 800, say 800, okay, 800 at 3% is 22,000, okay, and you know what he's, he wants. So, waterfront is the best. Going, you know, waterfront, little golf course, you know, uh, these places are, you know, just look at the beat, uh, um, beat up place. Uh, I, I see these places all the time. Uh, you know, they, they're on the water. They're, they're trashed. They're, they're, you know, um, they're, anyway, you know, these guys, uh, you know, usually I go for the realtors because the realtors realize that I have the um, have the networking that will give them that two percent at one percent of uh, you know uh, in a million dollars, and I tell the the guy that um, I tell the realtors this is. This is the big secret on the real estate, on the realtors, okay? You, you will go on this, go on these guys, okay? These units, okay? For, you know, this is worth two, two million dollars. Just say so. A million, million two. Just g give me an angle here. You, you know what I mean. So, so say you you get up you know you go to the wholesale, and he goes uh, you know, you go I'm looking for beat up places for around a half million dollars upwards of a million so he can flip it to this guy that I know that will put in fifty a hundred thousand dollars, and he'll he'll flip it and he'll make he'll make. Two hundred, three hundred thousand dollars on the back end. Okay, when I tell these real estate brokers, you you find me all these uh, stuff, and now you'll tell the the um, I'll give you the commission on the front end, and I'll tell my guy to give you on the back end. So the thing is, uh, you know, I double dip. It's I'm telling the real estate broker after the guy that I know for five, ten years, that I've been doing for twenty years, I've been doing business with. Okay, tell the guy that you you know tell the realtor say um, make three percent on the front end and the back end with these. 
So they call me every day or email me every day and they understand that, that you know, the, the, my deal is on every day. They get, and they, maybe if they get one deal, one deal a month from me, or five deals a year, okay, on leads. You know, I make, I make, I make $30,000, he makes $30,000, he makes more money on the back end, and he makes another, he makes another, Six thousand dollars. That's ninety thousand dollars on one home. On the front end, I mean, he, he, the guy, the other guy sells it. Yeah, I hope I, you know, I, I, I hope I, uh, you know, give you a, a good idea what I'm saying. Ooh, okay, on, on leagues mid range. I don't give you another mid range. Oh, you know. These mid-range houses that I have in Beverly, it was Florida, are mostly rentals, okay? These homes uh, are going for uh, $120,000 each. If I wanted to really, you know, there's no money in it because they're only... A hundred twenty thousand dollars. You know, it's two bedroom, two bath. I'm living in one, and I'm renting out the other. You know, I I said that in my other video. Uh, I'm, you know, that I got sixty five thousand dollars for for cash back in two thousand ten. I'm making twenty five percent of my money. Uh, anyway. I would not go for these homes because because the the uh, money's out there, you know. Uh, they're good for rentals. They're good for uh, maybe picking up with something that uh, you know uh, you you go in. You, you know, for, uh, um, I, you know, I picked it, I picked one up a couple of days ago for. Uh, the guy wanted, I think, on the trash. Uh, I think he wanted uh, ninety-five for. So listen, it's all trash. It's all garbage. I'll give you sixty cash right now. Uh, give me ninety days because I have to go in and clean it up so I can rent it, uh, so I can put in fifteen thousand dollars into it. Make it halfway decent. Um, you know, uh, you won't get $95,000 for, you know, be, to be honest with you. Uh, because most, most people, most flippers will give you a, you know, most, I told them, you know, most, uh, you're getting all these, uh, what prices do you get? Well, someone offered me seventy five. Didn't he? Didn't he take it? And he goes, no. Um, you know, I told him to call him back. Call the guy back and see if he he he'll go eighty four for it. Well, you know, I I said you're not going to get ninety five thousand dollars for this thing. So he calls the guy back, and he's on interest. And uh, so I said, "Listen, if you want to get rid of it, uh, rid of it uh, today or next week, give me ninety days to close in three months. I have to get in there. I have to clean it. Uh, give me the keys. Give me this. Give me that, and I will give you sixty six thousand dollars. I can put it in another." 10, 15, clean, uh, lipstick, you know, the roof was good, the, the foundation was good, the inside was good, or oh, it was, it was a dirty kitchen, a couple broken windows, weeds, I said, if you want six, and so I picked it up for 60, 
uh, $16,000 and I, I paid for the, uh, paid for the, um, you know, closing costs, which was $3,000. Now I have a good rental for, for $15,000 a month. And I lipstick it. I, you know, um, this is it right here. Um, yeah. So, I won't give you the actual address, but it's, it's 801 something. Is that mine? No, it's not mine. Sorry, guys. It's not mine. Looks like mine. <laughs> Now, no, no, I'm um, a mistake. Sorry, I don't want to get you guys to look that up and look at my uh, anyone's name. So it's not mine. <laughs> look at mine. It looks like mine because of the this thing right here. You know, but uh, I shouldn't have. I, you know. I wish I had a garage here because I, you know, it, well, it's not mine. But uh, like I said, uh, mine's all way over there. The same, same kind of house. You know, you know I just, uh, I shouldn't say mine. Uh, you know, uh, typical. You know, I didn't mean to say that. I meant to me to. Say, th this is somewhat like mine. I just, you know. So let's go, go over the cons and uh, mid range, you know. Uh, 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 competitive and uh, mid range. Yeah, it's all. all uh, it's also uh, these homes are competitive. Oh, you know the mid range is uh, competitive. Uh, these guys aren't that competitive, okay? But I know a guy that has the wants these houses, okay? I'm a buyer's list, so you know I got the realtor. I got realtors that uh, the. Um, send me uh, emails for these things and stuff like that. So like, I suggest you, you know, if you, if you need a realtor and you, you're starting, uh, so tell the realtor, I'm mid, I'm up middle, mid range up to $2 million, you know, a million dollars. So they, they, uh, they double, uh, so they, you can double dip them. So, um, this is the, the thing most, uh, most wholesalers won't give you this information, uh, because they give the information for these houses, all well, these houses. You know, these houses are good because they're, they, you know, they're three hundred fifty thousand dollars. These houses, right here. Okay, you're not going to flip. Okay, you're not going to get it. You know, uh, say you get, say you get this. You know, uh, under con and truth of uh, true uh, the true thing. The, these houses, in my eyes, okay, aren't worth a hundred twenty thousand dollars. They're worth fifty. So, to get get them on under contract, okay, you got to get get them down to twenty five. Okay, the only reason why I picked another one up was for uh, for the rental. Uh, they're in Bubbly here, was Florida. Um. So, you know, it's, uh, there was always cons. Educate yourself. Educate 
you know, um, network, always that work, always network. But, you know, uh, like I said, uh, go for these houses. Don't, you know, don't go for these houses. Well, you can, but <laughs> no one's going, yeah, you, you, you'll get, you'll pick these thing, uh, things up for uh, like $3 million and get a guy, um, you know, a backhand uh, to clean it up for $2 million and get that damn thing on, you know, try to sell it. You know, they, they see, these houses are too big, okay? And they're not even, they're not even worth what, say that, okay, for example, say this guy, say this thing is worth $10 million, okay? Most people can't afford a $10 million house instead of a $50,000, $50 million house. Ten million, say it's ten million dollars, okay, and you pick it up for a million dollars. Uh, yeah, well, you can do it, you know. And your back end guy, a guy is going to try to get get a couple million, you know, uh, a couple million dollars for it. But you can't move these houses, okay? They're they're one percent of the population. So, you know, I'll talk about this uh, another time, maybe, of what houses, I mean, these houses, in my eyes, the mansions, I mean, these 10 to $50 million houses, pieces of shit anyway. You know, they, it's all cheap shit because when they build them, okay, when, when, you, when you're talking about space, Okay, it's cheap shit. Uh, then you gotta go in, you know, and get rid of the shit, you know, cheap crap. I don't get into that in, in another video. Anyway, let you know, let me go, and you know, we'll we'll talk about that. We'll talk about this another time. Uh, it's another video, believe me. <laughs> it's like.